The sun is a boring star, which is great news for us. It doesn't periodically explode and scorch us, or fade and freeze us. But it is still a star that we live with, an enormous thermonuclear furnace more than a million times larger than the Earth. Its surface bubbles like boiling oatmeal. Magnetic fields pull arcs of gas high into the sun's corona, where glowing hydrogen falls as rain. In some regions, intense magnetic fields can choke the rising energy, causing dark spots. Our existence depends on this barely controlled violence. Even a slight change, the cosmic equivalent of a shrug, can wipe us out. Magnetic lines of force can snap like an overstretched rubber band, producing solar flares, explosions strong enough to rattle the Earth 93 million miles away. When high energy particles and radiation thrown from a flare hit the Earth, the planet's magnetosphere cushions the blow. It funnels energy to the poles, creating the northern and southern lights. A nighttime reminder that the sun still burns. These solar particles can still wreak electrical havoc, causing blackouts and blinding satellites. A solar flare in 1859 set telegraphs on fire and lit up the sky with auroras as far south as Hawaii. Solar flares are more common during periods of high sunspots. The current cycle of sunspot activity peaked in 2014 and is still dangerously high. Earth has escaped a direct hit so far, but scientists remain wary. Eternal wariness is the price of living with a temperamental star. <laughs>